Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another Mortgage Coach educational event today. My name is Dave Savage, and we believe that advice is the ultimate competitive advantage. I've got a fantastic guest today, and I'm recording in a great venue. I'm actually broadcasting live out of Bend, Oregon. Uh, a great mortgage coach leader, Sean, offered to let me use his um, internet in his office. So Sean Brennan, anybody that knows Sean, make sure you log out and thank you for him letting me use his office today. Thank you, Sean. Uh, Steve Harney is our guest, and Steve, thanks for making time and the prep to deliver a great call today. Thank you, Dave. I appreciate it. It's an honor to be on a call with you. Yeah, well, I'm looking forward to a great teaching. So uh, first, I want to know who's going to Sales Mastery. Anybody shout out in the, either the chat or the questions. If you're going, I want to know who's going. While Steve is talking, we'll interact. Make sure you connect with us on Facebook. And myself and our entire mortgage coach team will be there with black shirts on, driving some new mobile innovation. So we've got a new app that we're going to be announcing. But today, it's all about having inspired conversations with home buyers and realtors in open houses and in real estate offices. So it's not about what you're doing over the phone. It's not about what you're doing over the internet. It's about when you're doing what you're doing when you're face to face. How can you drive mortgage coach experience? How can you bring Steve Harney's insights into play? And just how can you innovate? How can you wow home buyers out in the field? Well, a couple companies that have figured out how to do that, Trulia, Zillow, everybody who's put the MLS in the back pocket of a home buyer, they have figured this out. In fact, it's become home entertainment. Uh, and, and they put the MLS in the back pocket of every home buyer. So key insight for everybody is a lot of the people that are coming through open houses now, they, were, they found that open house because they're using the Redfin app or they're using the Trulia app. And so they came through a great mobile experience into that open house. Now you as an agent, you as a, real, a realtor and a loan officer, how can you deliver more value? Well, here's one thing that we know for sure. Home buyers have unprecedented transparency and information, but with that comes overwhelm, information overload. So here's what we know for sure. Being in the confident decision business has never been more important. And, and I guess I just want to pause for a second. When it comes to you and you think of what's going on in open houses, are you, you know, and I look at the flyers that you have laying around, I look at the experience that's being created, are you in the confident decision business? Or you just have a door unlocked with the lights on and, and, and we're going to show you a better way today. So another key insight that everybody has to recognize is that millennials are coming. When you look at the trends over the next five years, the majority of home buyers are under the age of 44. And 74% over the next five years are going to be under 34. But here's what I think a lot of people don't realize is that that's not the trend that's coming. That is a trend that is here. And Steve, thank you for putting these trends together. And I know these are slides that I borrowed from your Bridge Builders program. But I, I was, you know, I knew the five-year trend, but I really didn't realize that, you know, over 50% of the buyers, you know, 32% are going to be under 34. That was a, that was an aha for me, Steve. Uh, do you find that the case with a lot of other loan officers and realtors? Yeah, I think that one of the big, I think there's two challenges to that. Number one is we don't realize how many are coming ready to buy. That's number one. And number two is I'm not sure if we've educated them well enough to even I think those numbers would even be higher if we did a really good job over the next couple of years of educating uh, you know, the millennials as to what is available in the mortgage market. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. Yeah, so it is big number, big opportunity. One last insight before we get into the meat. Is this is some research that came out you know, many months ago, but I think the thing that's most important to bring into this call and to bring into open houses is that 85% of buyers and sellers, they like agents and realtors that use video marketing. And so everybody wants it. I know I want it. When I want to look at a house online, I want videos. You know? And I respect agents and loan officers that use video. But here's the deal. Only 15% do it. And, and when it comes to loan officers, the number is even smaller than 15%. So, so all you loan officers that are on this call, if you're bringing video value into open houses, video value to agents, the 15% that are already there love you, and the 85% that aren't there, they want you, they need you. You know, you're, you're a coach and a leader to them. So at Mortgage Coach, you know, we align very closely with Steve Harney and his team 
In fact, you know, they have inspired and influenced me getting even tighter around our mission, which is, you know, we just believe every borrower, every realtor needs to make total, needs to drive total confidence, total great mortgage, mortgage decisions with total cost education. And in Mortgage Coach, we help mortgage pros and realtors help families make better decisions with mobile. So, you know, we've got these values that we've had since we were founded 16 years ago. We, you know, the how is total cost education, and the result is confident decisions. So with that, it's an honor to bring Steve Hardy into the conversation. This, I've interviewed you a number of times, Steve. Uh, you're going to be one of the speakers at Sales Mastery in just a couple weeks. I can't wait to see you and what you share from stage. But right now, I can't wait to hear uh, how you recommend everybody drives open houses and brings your insight into open houses. OK, thank you very much, David. Again, I very much, very much appreciate the, uh, the opportunity. Uh, it's um, to have us associated with your brand is tremendous. You know, just doing a webinar together is a tremendous thing because I know how highly the market thinks of you, that, and that's evidenced by the quantity of people even on this, this webinar. So I just wanted to let everybody know that, uh, again, it's an honor for me here. The other thing I want to let you know that for the hour we have you, I know you're giving up an hour of your time, uh, an hour of your life to be on this webinar, and I hope that Dave and I give you a return on that investment. That is our goal. Uh, let's start off by really taking a look at why we're together. You know, why all of a sudden are you know, some of the mortgage people and the real estate people coming together to really make it one strong army instead of two almost competing armies, it seemed, over the years. Well, as we can see that in 2011, 12, and 13, a large percentage of the business that we were doing was refinances. But now, in 2014, those numbers are changing rather dramatically. And these are Fannie, uh, Freddie Mac, I'm sorry, Freddie Mac numbers. And their projection in 2015 is they're going to continue to change pretty dramatically. So more and more of your business is going to be with realtor partners and Dave, mortgage coach, and with his product edge has really made it simpler for you to build those relationships with them because they're going to be needed relationships. I always tease when anyone on the mortgage side talks to me, well, do you think that the homeowner should go to the mortgage person first or go to the real estate person first? Well, logic tells me, you know, intuitively, I know that they should find out if they're qualified for a mortgage. But you know what happens? They do go to Zillow and truly you're in realtor.com first. Why? Because nobody goes to sleep hoping that they find their beautiful dream mortgage the next day. They go to sleep dreaming about their dream house. All right, so that's usually the first step they take. And what Dave and what Dave does enables you to make the connections with those realtors. And the way Dave does it, it's a lifetime connection, which is really the important thing. Now, there's been a lot of talk already about Zillow, Trulia, and Realtor.com, and there is some speculation in the marketplace that, well, you know, there's so many people finding the house online. How important will Realtors be in the future? I just want everyone in here to know we've done extensive study here uh, looking at that exact number for the big realtor, uh, realtor organizations in the company, the big real estate companies in the country. And here's what we found that over the last 10 years, as more and more potential buyers are going to the internet to find their house, here's an interesting situation. The number of buyers who use an agent over those same 10 years actually has gone up dramatically. See, they get the information, they get the house, they get the dots, the data, maybe online, but they still need somebody to connect that data. So as more and more information, as Dave mentioned before, as more and more information came to the internet, people got more and more confused about mortgaging also. All right, and what that confusion caused is not them using less realtors, but actually increasing the percentage of used realtors are actually increasing and increasing rather dramatically. The other good news I want to give to you right now is this. This is the foot traffic. This is how many people are actually out looking at houses as a percentage of all the markets. So forget about what that 54% means. What it means is 54.8% of the markets have seen an increase in foot traffic. That's not what I'm worried about right now. What I want you to see is that that's the highest it's been in a year, meaning there are more people out physically looking at houses than at any other time over the last year. So when we talk about the market being soft earlier this year, 
And when people are doing half year reports saying, well, real estate wasn't where we thought it was going to be, they're right. That's because of those red bars you saw in December, January, and February. The number of people actually looking at houses dropped off. Then it came up to a little bit better numbers over the last couple of months. But now we're seeing very strong numbers, and we think those numbers will continue through the rest of the year. What does that say? Opportunity. And that opportunity that exists there exists in every single company. Sometimes what loan offers to say to me, well, there's a lot of in-house services. And you're right. 86% of agents surveyed said that they did have mortgage services available to them, either through their company or through someone that they're dealing with. So you say, well, 86% of the market is already tied up. Well, no, not really, because the same survey said that only 60, uh, said that only 37%, I'm sorry, are really comfortable in that relationship and satisfied with that relationship. So we have an opportunity right now, if you take the one-third or 37% of the 86%, what are we really looking at? About seven and a half of every deal done right now, you have an opportunity to get whether they have an in-house uh, mortgage company or not. So what are we saying? Well, more, buyers are, more uh, buyers are using agents. There are more buyers out there, and the agents are less satisfied with the mortgage process that they might have in-house that they've had in the past. So what does it go? It goes from a good opportunity to a great opportunity. But I don't want to just talk about the opportunity during the session. I also want to talk about the responsibility that every single person on this webinar has. Because ladies and gentlemen, at the same time, more and more buyers are coming out and more and more information is available. More and more people are getting confused. The industry is becoming more transparent in an effort to help home buyers become informed about changes that may affect their process. The sheer amount of information can lead to confusion. As a matter of fact, in a recent survey, it showed that 65% of all the people responding to the survey felt overwhelmed by the amount of information available on home financing. More than six out of ten people are overwhelmed. They can't fully understand it. And when we're talking about millennials, which they brought up at the very beginning, which is going to be a driving force over the next couple of years, three out of four of the people under the age of 30 are overwhelmed with what's taking place. Well, what does that mean? Well, Nomura um, analysts, they put this out to their clients. It's not that millennials and any other potential home buyer aren't qualified in terms of their credit scores or in how much they have saved for the down payment. It's they think they're not qualified or they think that they don't have a big enough down payment. So what do we have here? We have a, a, a group of buyers, the consumer itself, large numbers, 65% of everyone out there, 75% of those under the age of 30, are now saying, I'm confused. And surveys have proven that that to be correct. Ivy Zellman, who runs Zellman & Associates, did a survey. How much of a down payment do you really need? 39%, 4 out of 10, almost 4 out of 10 people that they surveyed, said you need at least 15% down or else you can't get a house. Wow. That means 4 out of 10 people think they shouldn't even look for a house if they don't have the 10% down. Oh, I'm sorry, the 15% down. And between the ages between the 30 and 34, 42% believe that. Well, what is that creating right now? Well, you can look at it two ways. First of all, there's a tremendous opportunity for the true educators on this webinar the people who really believe that their job is to help the consumer make a com confident buying decision. If you're in that category, if you want to really educate, not just sell, but educate the consumer to that situation, we're going to help a whole bunch of people move forward. And again, I don't think it's just an opportunity. I do think it's a responsibility. As a matter of fact, when Freddie Mac saw the Ivy Zellman survey, they came out on their blog saying this. They wanted people to understand a person can get a conforming conventional mortgage with a down payment of as little as 5%, sometimes with as little as 3% coming out of their own pockets. Freddie Mac's purchase of mortgages with down payments under 10% more than quadruples between 2009 and 2013. It's not that the number of those 
mortgages are decreasing, they're actually increasing four times. The consumer just doesn't know that. More than one in five borrowers took out a conforming conventional mortgage in 2014, put down 50% or less. So what we're looking at right now, ladies and gentlemen, is the fact that the consumer is confused, they're inundated with information, and they're looking for someone to help them. And Christina Boyle, Freddie Mac's Vice President and Head of Single Family Sales and Relationship Management, said this, letting more consumers know how down payments are determined could bring more qualified borrowers off the sidelines. Depending on their credit history and other factors, many borrowers can expect to make a down payment of about 5 or 10%. We have to let them know that. That's part of our responsibility and what we do. But as Fox Business News says, access to all this information, everything they're getting on the internet, isn't always a positive force. Sometimes it can stall a buyer or make them question whether or not they want to be a buyer. Our job right now, ladies and gentlemen, is to make sure that those people that are confused are saying, well, maybe it's not, it's not time for me. Maybe I'm not ready. Maybe I don't have a good enough credit score. Maybe I don't have a good enough down payment. Let's at least get in front of these people and determine whether that's true. Because if not, they're going to get into the rental trap. And rents right now are still increasing dramatically. The percentage of the ratio of income paid to a rent is increasing. Since pre-bubble, it's greater than pre-bubble, while the percentage of income going to home ownership is 50% less than what it was at the time of the pre-bubbles. If people get caught in their rental trap and they keep on paying the landlord's mortgage and stay paying their own mortgage, they're never going to be able to save up to do what they need to do. But it's our responsibility to help them with that. So in today's webinar, we want to talk about open houses and how you do that when you get inside an office. Let's start with the open houses. This is what we coach the realtors, and we have a little over 10,000 realtors that listen to us. This is what we have over 60,000 that listen to us versus the blog and everything else we do. We have 10,000 uh, paid subscribers that just talk to us about what do we need to do right now. We have them do things like this. We want them to put this type of information out in front of the buyers during their open houses in every room. We want to spark conversation because we know that some of the people walking through the house really don't believe they could buy the house. They're just dreaming in their own mind. But maybe they can. Or maybe they could afford even a bigger house or a house on the side of the, the street that they want to really live on that backs up to the uh, golf course instead of backing up to the Walmarts. We teach agents. This is an agent down in Florida, Alexa. She's a sweetheart. She's been in the business three years. This is her third year in real estate, and this year she'll sell somewhere between 50 and 60 houses because she knows how to do the open houses. She just doesn't sell the house. She sparks conversations with the buyers that walk through the houses. That's good for her, and it's also good for the seller. And she puts these little placards up everywhere she goes. So we teach agents that, and some agents do it to form a plaque, like Alexa does. Other, other agents actually run a video feed, do a little film or a little slide uh, presentation, a little slideshow of important things. So when the buyer's coming through, again, what they're attempting to do is spark a good conversation. That's extremely important to them. Now, we'll talk about in a second how that perfectly leads into what you're already doing as a loan officer. But I wanted you to see it from a realtor side. What they realize they need to do right now is not just sell the house, but engage in conversation with every buyer walking through that house to make sure that that buyer is not confused, is not inundated with so much mortgage information, they don't know whether they should buy or not. And this type of information is crucial to the agent. Now, when you get into going into uh, dominating office meetings when you want to go in there, more and more of the uh, managers or owners of real estate uh, offices, you know, they have to fill their office meetings. They have to turn around and they might have one a week, so that's 52 a year. Putting together content for 52 meetings a year is a, is a big job, especially when they're putting out fires every single day. 
if you had the right content, now, and I'm not going to try to beat up anybody on this call because I'm sure nobody on this particular webinar does this, but I know a lot of loan officers try to go in with maybe bagels or lunch, either at an office meeting or an open house. You're not applying for Top Chef. Food is not what they need. What they need is to make sure that you understand what's happening in the market, both on the real estate side and the mortgage side, and that you could help them, help the consumer understand that. Because if the consumer is not making a confident decision, both personally, meaning they found the right house, and financially, they can afford to keep that house, then that real estate agent didn't do their job. So that's what office meetings need right now. Great content, not more bagels, not more rate sheets. So if you want to turn around, and I'm going to give you some examples of what we teach um, you know, to, to do with their office meetings, so you can piggyback on that. And again, we're going to tie right back into what Dave's doing, because I think that's a brainchild for office meetings. But knowing stuff like, well, where are prices going? Now, we can't guess that in every single market. We understand that, and the agent understands that, and I believe the consumer understands that. And we don't want to pick just one quote, this person thinks you know, prices are going to go up 20%. This person over here thinks prices are going to go down 20%. That's where the confusion comes in. So we tell all the, the broker owners and the managers and offices to look at the home price expectation survey. It comes out once a quarter. It's not one single person's estimation or projection of what's going to happen with pricing. It's a nationwide panel of over 100 economists, real estate experts, and investment and market strategists. Last quarter, they did 107. And they asked them, where do you think prices are going to be over the next five years? So again, we're not getting one opinion. We're getting over 100 opinions. And that would be like if we were all sitting in a room and we put a jar of jelly beans in the front of the room and we guessed everyone, all 100 people in the room, how many jelly beans are in that jar? Well, some would guess way high, some would guess way low. But because there'd be a hundred different answers, that much data, what we would find out that if we averaged all 100 answers together, we'd come real close to the number of beans in that jar. That's the principle. They don't ask one person, two people, 30 people. They ask over a hundred experts. And then they average their answers out. And this is what those experts project going forward. Just so that you know, pre-bubble, prices went up about 3.5% a year on an annual basis. Well, now they're saying that for this year, well, they'll probably be by the end of the year up 4.6%. They're a little bit better at the beginning of the year than the end of the year. The pendulum is still swinging back from those negative numbers we had over the last few years. So next year, they're going to go up about 4%. Then the pendulum will swing back a little bit the other way and be just below those 3.5% numbers. And then probably we'll see as we go forward that 3.5 will be the, the new mark until there's some sort of radical change in uh, the industry. So what we're doing, we're still a little bit high, and then we're going to get back to more normal numbers. That's what that's saying. Just having this information for an agent is important. However, I think you could take it to a different level because now you can go to your strengths. We know prices are going up, and we know they're going up next year for by about 4%. Now, the other thing that determines the cost of a house is interest rates. If you gave this graph to agents, they would be a little bit surprised by it because they don't see interest rates like we would see them. They just see them as to what was the last interest rate quarter to their last client. But what we can see is at the beginning of last summer, and this goes all the way from January 2013 to today, beginning of last summer, uh, I'm sorry, beginning of last year, you know, down less than 3.5%. And remember, just before last summer, the Fed came out saying they're pulling the tapering, or they're going to start pulling back on the tapering. That drove interest rates up a full percent, and they've been bouncing around since then as they're lowering the. So they priced in the removal, you know, the tapering off of the bond purchases right from the beginning, and they're bouncing around a little bit. Now the next thing you can give an agent, once you give them that understanding, is what are the projections going forward? And you don't have to make those projections. That's, I'm not asking you to do that. But you can quote what other analysts are projecting. Fannie Mae projects by the third quarter of next year, this time next year, interest rates will be about a half a percent higher, both Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, than where they stand today. 
and the Mortgage Bankers Association, National Association of Realtors, think they're going to be almost a full percentage point of where they are today. That's the type of information that realtors can use. That's the kind of data that you can share. And it's much more powerful when you're talking to an office manager than bagels. Because now you're helping their agents actually build their business. And that's what they really need you to help them do. That's key. So let's just take one of those projections. Let's just take a look at Freddie Mac. Well, what Freddie Mac shows us is this is what they project interest rates to go over the next year. The blue is the, the, the slide I showed you before from the end of last year until now. And this is the projection for the next several quarters. But again, what we're giving them is data. And they might even be able to find that data in other places. People are starting to do that. What's really crucially important to a, a realtor is when you help them take that data. Now, the data in my company we call dots. The reason there's so much confusion is so many dots being thrown out there right now. So much data being supplied right now. The real expert, both on the mortgage side and the real estate side, is a person that not just has the dots, but helps connect those dots. That's the key. So let's take a look at that, and let's just take an average home in this country, and I don't want to get crazed with the, you know, the price. I know there are people probably on this call that sell $100,000 condos in the part of the country. And there's other people on this webinar that probably can add a zero to those numbers, and that's the average sales price that you're dealing with. But that's pretty close to the average sales price in the country right now. If we take a look, and we did this at the, just a couple of weeks back, if they bought a house at $250,000 right now, they're going to be paying about $1,218 a month, principal and interest. If they bought that same house next July, now we're talking about a change in interest rates as projected, and we, we pumped up the price. Why? How? By the 4% that the Home Price Expectation Survey said it was going to happen. Remember those 107 experts? And then we took the interest rate based on what Freddie Mac projected. Now, we don't know that those experts are going to be right. I understand that. That's not our job to say this is what's going to happen. Our job is to say this is what the experts are projecting is going to happen. Well, the difference in monthly payment, just waiting a year, is $145. That at the bottom, we say, well, what does that mean annually? And what does that mean over 30 years? Now, again, at the beginning, I talked about opportunity, and I also talked about responsibility. This is what I feel on the responsibility side, ladies and gentlemen. That over 30 years is net worth, family wealth. By waiting a year, that family cost itself, over time, over $50,000 in net worth. That's not even including the increase in the cost of rents. That's big, ladies and gentlemen. And you have to connect those dots. Now, we have a challenge where we are, a challenge you don't have. We try our best to say, all right, let's assume the house is $100,000, because we, again, we have people that sell $100,000 condos. Or let's assume that house was $500,000, and it went up 4%. Let's assume that house was a $1,000,000, and it went up 4%. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you're in that market, or any place in between, what you can talk to the potential purchaser about is by waiting a year, if the experts are right, by waiting a year, you cost your family about $200,000. And the people capable of buying a million-dollar house probably understand money pretty well. They understand that $200,000 is a lot more than that. That's just a cash difference in the interest in the mortgage rates. That's crucially important. This is the type of information that agents absolutely love. This is the type at their open houses. This is the type of information that broker managers absolutely love for you to share with their agents because they can now go out and take some buyers and convert them. And also remember that almost every single buyer that sells a house in this country buys another house. And now, because equity is so different than it was years ago, many of them can't buy a house with all cash. They have to take out a mortgage. So even somebody selling a first-time house, buying that second home, they need a mortgage too.
but they're locked in because they're just as confused about the process and whether or not they can get a mortgage as the first-time home buyer. Those studies I showed you before prove that. But now if you can free up more listings, because you know what, I can afford to buy that next house. I don't have to worry about being rejected. Oh, I heard that the new QR and QRM is going to demand a 36% back-end debt, and you can't go a penny over that. Well, that was the original plan. That's not the way it worked out. Whereas 43, with exceptions. The consumer doesn't know that. The original plan that was plastered all over the front page of the Wall Street Journal and every other major publication across the country said they need a 20% down or else they weren't going to get the house. Well, that's not what happened. But the real guidelines weren't on the front page. They're on page 37 that a lot of consumers didn't read. It's our opportunity and our responsibility to get out and let people know really what the scoop is. And there's going to be some people out there say, oh, man, I wish I would have bought last year. If I would have bought at the beginning of last year, I could have paid 3.5%. Now I'm going to be paying 4 4.5%. Four well, I always like to remind them. All right? This is what a $200,000 mortgage would have cost in each one of the last decades. And we took the average uh, mortgage rate for that decade from Freddie Mac. You know, sometimes when you remind them that you know, interest rates might not be going to 5%. They might eventually be going to 6% or maybe over 8%, which is the average over the last 30 years. Not that we're going to use that as a scare tactic. I don't want you to use it as a scare tactic. But let's make believe that any consumer you're talking to is your family. I used to run a, I owned a 550-agent real estate company. We used to teach them. The ethics training we did, we had them do all the, lo you know, the local board training, all the NAR training on ethics. But we used to tell them. If you're dealing with a client that's the age of your son and daughter, make believe it is your son and daughter and give him advice that way. If you're dealing with a client that's the same age as your brother or sister, make believe it is your brother or sister and give him advice that way. If you're dealing with a client the same age as your mom and dad, make believe it is your mom and dad and give them advice that way. And if my son was buying a house today, matter of fact, my son has just finished closing on a house today. Close on the last Thursday, actually. I told them, hey, listen, I don't know what rates are going. They're going to go at least to five. They might be going to six. And I have no idea after that. This is what I know. They're probably not going much lower than four. <laughs> so you should jump in now. That's the advice I gave to my own flesh and blood. That's the advice I give to anybody thinking about buying a house right now. And then I would give them something like this or give the agents that you're dealing with something like this so they can deal with that. And again, ladies and gentlemen, one of the big things, and Seth Godin said this, it's not about the, the, the data, the dots. It's not about that anymore. There's a lot of companies putting out dots. That's what's leading to the confusion. It's not just Zillow and Trulia and Realtor.com and Realtor.org and CoreLogic and... Um, well, I, I can name a zillion companies. They put them up on the screen, and they're all throwing dots out. Help the agents connect the dots. Matt Dallinger, a dear friend of mine and president and founder of Gearbox Consulting, someone who's also a good friend of uh, David's, he put it really, really well in a conversation he was having with a group of agents for me the other day. The simple vis visualization of complex data for things like real estate trends empower the real estate professional to educate their consumer and positions the agents as the reliable source for this information. That's true. The simple vis visualization of complex data enables the agent to be seen as the reliable source for this information. If I was going to try to get anything across to you during this webinar, that's it. Help the agents visualize what's taking place right now, especially in the mortgage market where there's so, so much confusion. You will help them build their business. Now, if you pick, the other thing that was talked about at the very beginning of this webinar by David, was a trusted advisor. If you want to be the trusted advisor, then you want to make sure that you're dealing with and building relationships with people you can trust. Trust is a two-way street. If you pick the right realtor partners, people who care about their clients as much as you care about yours, people who care about doing the right thing just as much as you care about doing the right thing. 
If you help them build theirs, they'll help you build yours. And again, it's not that complicated. Just a thing as simple as this, we're taking a $200,000 house. If interest rates do go up and they were trying to get their mortgage or keep their mortgage at about $1,000 a month, well, as interest rates go up, as the experts are projecting they are going to, we can see that the buyer then has to buy less of a house if they want to keep their, their, interest, their uh, mortgage, uh, monthly mortgage payment for principal interest at about 1000 bucks. So the $200,000 house they can buy now, they can only afford a $180,000 house if, if interest rates go up to, well, let's make it more realistic, they can only afford a $190,000 house if interest rates go up to 5% in the next year. And prices are going up. So that $190,000 house is less money, it will be a house less than that too. And you have to let them see that. And again, what we do, and we do a really good job of this, and we have agents all over the country loving us for it, we break it down. Here's a $400,000 house. Let's assume that they wanted to keep their interest, their mortgage payments, I'm sorry, principal and interest, to about that, you know, $2,000 number. Well, as interest rates rise, the amount the house they can buy decreases. And you can go to different numbers. You can go to 600, you can go to 800, you can go to a million. But what we have really there, ladies and gentlemen, is this. The process is that we're empowering them to understand what's taking place in the market. We're giving them the dots, and then we're teaching them how to connect the dots. Now, I showed you two different formats of connecting the dots. The buyer's purchasing power, if we want to lock in a particular mortgage payment, you know, how much can we afford as rates go up. And the other one we showed you before is if prices go up and interest rates go up, how much will the mortgage payment just go up? And we showed you 100,000, 200,000, but the best part of being involved with Mortgage Coach is you don't have to use paper forms. This can start the conversation if agents have this around, but you're empowered being a mortgage coach person, you're empowered to not only just break it down to exactly the price point that they're looking for, but the different mortgage options that may be available that might change these numbers. You're not just giving them dots. You're not even just connecting the dots. You're like connecting the dots at a third level. And you're doing it in a format that the vast majority of purchases, or, or as David mentioned before, are already interested in seeing. They've looked at the Zillow's, the Trulia's. They've looked at the E's. They're used to looking at an iPad or a computer and seeing all the different uh, available information there. And that's exactly what Dave is delivering to you. The opportunity to do, enhance, not just what we just showed you now, but bring it to another level altogether. Dave, why don't you take it over from here and we can go from there. Is that okay? So Steve, I just had to get it off of uh, mute there. So, so guys, I mean, I think we, Steve has made a great case for why insight matters and how you can deliver insight in an open house, in a real estate office, and don't make sure you do not miss him at Sales Mastery in just two weeks out. So Steve, let's keep this conversation going, and let's try to get as specific as we can around how you as loan officers can get more leads at open houses from your agents. Let's talk about how you can get more leads and not even have to go out into the open house. And let's talk about how you can create more value in real estate offices so that when you're, whether you're doing a sales meeting, whether you're coming there to do a prequal with a referral that an agent brought you, how can you get more business out of that and create more value for your agents? So let's get really specific. So, so this Tuesday, I interviewed Carmine Gallo on our coaching call, the author of Talk Like Ted. And to say the book is important and valuable for mortgage professionals and real estate agents is an understatement. You know, Carmine just did a training, uh, like Steve, I know you've done a lot of training and teaching for the Keller Williams Group. So just last week he was in Austin teaching 150 of their trainers how to, how to deliver value. And, and when you look at what Zillow, Trulia, and now when you look at what Keller Williams is doing in mobile, it's really clear as mortgage professionals 
we need to get smart. I mean, these are home buyers that we're working with. They are being entertained with mobile apps. So what are we doing and how are we, how are we driving value? Well, the takeaway that I had from Tuesday's call, while I had numerous takeaways, was this concept of how valuable and how important it is to create multi-sensory experiences. One of the things that makes Steve's content so powerful is that he takes things that are words, that are text, and he makes pictures. You know, he makes complex concepts simple with pictures. And there's a lot of science around when you do that. You go from about a 10% retention in memory rate to about a 65 or 75%. So that's some of the magic of Steve Harney and the insights they have. You know, now let's talk about Mortgage Coach. How do we go from a generic, uh, you know, look what you can afford at different price range, and let's talk about going from a 10% impact to a massive impact. So, so first I ask everybody, are you as a mortgage professional driving multi-sensory experiences? Well, if you're a mortgage coach loan officer, which many of you on this call, you are doing that. You're doing that already. Let's talk about how to do it more intentional. So as I kicked off the call, I talked about how a lot of people are coming to open houses, and they're coming from a multi-sensory experience. They looked it up on their app. You know, they, they found the open house on Redfin, Trulia. You know, they were touching it. There were pictures. There's a reason why this stuff is so, you know, addictive. There's a reason why mobile is so addictive. And what do they do when they walk in the open house? They get paper laying around. And, and it's just pictures of the home. And w think about it. You know, if you're walking around a home looking at the home, do you want to see more pictures of the home? No, you want insights. So I love the visuals that you had, Steve, and I'm going to tie those together in a minute. But from a mortgage coach perspective, every you know, half of you on this call are mortgage coach members, and many of you aren't. But you could be having a mobile, interactive mortgage options sitting there on the on the on the countertop. Just every home buyer that comes in, they can click on it, they can touch it, they can hear it, and they can see it. You could turn mortgage options into interactive pictures. And by the way, for all you on this call that you do not want to go out to open houses on weekend, you have other things going on, you can forward a link to your realtors. You teach your realtors to open this up on their mobile device. This is their, this is the real estate agent's mobile device, and you're not even there. You're putting a mortgage coach interactive experience at an open house, and you're not even there. So, so anybody who's on the mortgage coach team right now, I want you to pull out your mobile app. Uh, if you're not, if you're on this call and you're not a Mortgage Coach member, it's free. You can just download it, whether you're Android or iOS. It's Mortgage Coach, and and as you can see on my screen right now, this is just a quick little video of the kind of move that a realtor could do. But let's just let's go through it. And by the way, for those of you that are going to play along, let's have a multi-sensory experience. So pull out your iPhone, your iPad, your Android device, pull up a Mortgage Coach experience, and just click on the summary button. Just click on summary right there, and now zoom in. Zoom into the options and see where it goes from something high level to something specific. And then if you wanted to, click on the details of the loan, monthly payment, PITI, the details of the loan. And then look at the graphics where we've taken those numbers and we've made it a picture. And then again, we've designed this app. It's, an, it's, a, it's a native app. You can swipe it back to the beginning. So by the t if you can get a realtor to do this and you can get a home buyer to do this, you are now connected. I mean, we're talking about a 3x engagement that, one, they're going to remember you, two, that you've delivered something valuable, and four, that they're going to do business with you. It's going to turn in from a conversation into an engagement. And then if you didn't notice this, up in the up, upper left-hand corner, if you're looking at a um, through a, through a um, iPad, you can click Share. And now I'll give you some scripting in a minute. You can say, would you like me to share this with you via email or text? In which case, now one, you've captured a lead, and two, you've taken your mortgage experience and your mortgage app, and you're put it, putting it on the buyers. You're connecting. You know, Steve, when, I, when you and I did our prep and I saw this, I mean, I love this. I love that you prepped, you took pictures. Uh, so by the way, think about it. You're a home buyer, you found a house, a mobile device, or you found it driving around, what would you, put yourself in the shoes of a buyer, would you rather go in and just have pictures of the house, or would you rather go in and see insights? And when you're walking around the house, would it be cool to have some more pictures and insights that are educating you as a home buyer? 
do you think that that, that experience is going to be more likely that the home buyer is going to have a conversation with the realtor if there's insights versus just more pictures of the home? I mean, I, I know for I a fact. Jump in there. It's, it's going to, if I could jump go ahead, in there jump for a in, second. Please. A lot, we, we instruct our, our agents to make a lot of those inserts about mortgaging about where interest rates were and where they're going and what they're projected. We want to spark that conversation. And we know that the agent can't fulfill that conversation or finish that conversation. That's why whether you're there or whether you have them equipped with your app there, to be able to continue that conversation about that particular house with you know, mortgage options, you're to, when they're most excited about looking at the house and dreaming, you're tying them right in there, not waiting for an agent to hope that they're going to refer a list to you later on. You actually have them tied in right there. All right, It's, it's a big thing. We teach our agents to do that and make sure that the, the whole mortgage process is continued. Perfect. So let's net out an open house, and then we'll do a real estate office. So netting out an open house, this is an average experience, an awesome experience, blowing it up with Steve Harney and Mortgage Coach, our insights around the house at the front, strategic, I mean, don't get carried away, you know, but a couple strategic, valuable insights that are relevant to that property, and then, boom, we put an interactive, personalized, tailored mobile experience. How would you like me to introduce you to my mortgage professional? How would you like me to help you make an informed decision? Well, here's, here's the way it works, folks. If it's one of the 15% of the realtors that are already mobile savvy, video savvy, I mean, they're going to freak out. I mean, this is a testimonial. Josh Metals is a very successful mega producer who, by the way, I'm interviewing him next week on a mortgage coach call. It's a guy who's closing over 40, 50 loans a month with his team. This is what a top Keller Williams agent who's mobile savvy and technology savvy said. By the way, if it's one of the 85% of the realtors that aren't, they know they should be. Their coach has been telling them to do it. They know they should be doing it. So what do you think if you're a mortgage coach professional and you are blowing up open houses with multi-sensory, video, mobile, pictures, insights, do you think they're going to be impressed? Do you think you're going to differentiate? Absolutely. Huge. So, so the challenge here is, is bring insights, bring interactive experiences into open houses. By the way, this is I, I did a training at a good strategic client of ours, Bank Home Mortgage, uh, Bank Home Loans, and, and they had like, it was all about how to have a great open house, and we had all these flyers, and then we put the Mortgage Coach app in front, and what was shocking was just how attractive it was from 20 and 30 feet. You know, you see flyers and paper, but you see an interactive experience, an, app, an iPhone, uh, an iPad, on a kitchen counter with mortgage options. I want to go see what that is. It drives conversation. It drives engagement. All real estate agents want to have this. It's just a question of you bringing this strategy and blowing them up. So again, if you're not a Mortgage Coach member, you can download the app for free. You can drive this experience yourself, regardless of whether you're iOS or Android. I, I recommend you put in my name, Savage. This will drive a Mortgage Coach experience, with a video from me, driving something that I'm very passionate about and something we talk about called total cost education. We're passionate about people making informed mortgage decisions and having strategies to pay off their mortgage faster and become debt free faster. So this is an example of me evangelizing a mortgage coach idea and a, a strategy. So download the app, put in Savage, check that out for yourself. So let's do one more training, one more I want to give you guys some scripts before we get into the real estate office. So here's some scripting. You know, one Stories sell. Stories with mobile. Two, you got to teach your realtors this. And three, you share an edge link. So instead of having to print out flyers, all you got to do is have a great story, teach an agent, and share an edge link. This is how you drive mobile mortgage experiences in open houses. So here is some scripting, some very specific scripting. Let me show you. Um, show you a total cost analysis that will help you purchase this home, save money, and make a confident decision. So just a great opening, interesting comment. If you're a home buyer and you're serious, the concept of a total cost analysis sounds interesting. And then you start telling a story while moving the mobile device. So this is a talking point 
to engage in a conversation, whether you're an agent or whether you're a loan officer, great scripting. Then your close is, would you prefer for me to email or text this total cost analysis to you? So again, just some simple talking points. And Steve, I would love, you know, I'm not going to put you on the spot now, but as we innovate as partners to really drive great open house experiences and great real estate office experience, if you have any suggestions on scripting, uh, would love to hear it. Uh, you know, again, I ran a 550 agent uh, company. Uh, I had 13 managers, and we gave them scripting every single week at meetings. So I definitely have some information that we can share as we move forward to help uh, everyone that's on this call. Beautiful. So, so another script, and this was compliments of Todd Duncan. Thank you, Todd. Looking forward to seeing you in two weeks. But if a home buyer says, "I'm already working with a lender," you know, teach your realtors to say, "Hey." Has your lender provided you with the total cost analysis showing how you could save tens of thousands of dollars over the life alone? It's only going to take you 15 minutes, and I'll get you this total cost analysis. So if your realtors are passionate about you, and they know that when you do the loan, it reliably gets done, and if they know that the advice that you're providing to home buyers is valuable, they'll be passionate about evangelizing you in the marketplace. So teach this script to your agents. Um, you know, and when they give you a referral, make sure they're well scripted. You know, make sure they, they have a great script. One of the reasons I recommend Dave Savage instead of other lenders is he provides a total cost analysis to all my buyers, shows them the real and total cost of their mortgage options. This analysis will save you thousands over time. With the goal of helping you make a confident decision and save some money, I ask all my clients, whether they're approved or not, to talk to Dave Savage to get a total cost analysis. And by the way, how cool would it be if your realtor was saying this with a mobile device, and then they said, hey, would you like me to forward, forward this to you via email or text? Guys, mortgage professionals out there listening to this, would that be great? And real estate professionals, would that help position you in a way that you're delivering value? And it's obvious. It's not just saying you have someone that's great. You've got a mobile device showing a unique experience. So, so, so. Again, the challenge and my hope today is that everybody on this call is going to start driving multi-sensory experiences around mortgage options and real estate strategies. So, so let's look at the open house experience. You know, and excuse me, not open house. Let's take it to real estate office. So, you're going to be having a meeting. You know, to prequal someone in a real estate office. You could take that really. You know, just walk in with your yellow sheet of paper, your pad and paper, or maybe you know you've got a laptop. Here's what I say, every touch point matters. Now, this, a good faith estimate, this is compliance. Everybody's got to do this. It does not improve conversion rates. It does not make you memorable. It is just a quote like every other loan officer. So you could go average or you could go boom. So from an open house, that's how it goes. But when you're in a real estate office, you know, do you want to have a fee worksheet? Again, this fee worksheet is how most prequals take place same thing that we were doing pre-meltdown. In fact, when Calix Point was founded in 1992, they, you know, this is the same fee worksheet we were using in the 90s. So for everybody, are you driving the same car for the 90s? I doubt it. Let's take our real estate office experience and let's modernize it with Mortgage Coach. So yes, we've got a laptop. By the way, we could either tell them to pull out their mobile device. We could have a an iPad as part of our real estate office arsenal. We hand the, the couple our iPad preloaded with an edge link, or we just we send them an edge link and they pull out their mobile devices. So now in the office with me, I'm not just quoting rates and doing a prequel. I am driving a mortgage experience. So by the way, a mortgage experience that's going to walk out of the office is still going to be in their back pockets. And and numbers, pictures a modern way to deliver rate quotes. And, and after they leave, you send them an email. You offer to CC the realtor. Again, if there's anybody else, a financial planner, a father-in-law that's loaning them the money, everybody's in the loop. And if you didn't put them in the loop with your email, it's easy for them to put them in the loop later with the share feature. So now your realtor feels it. They can touch it. They can interact with the advice, feel, touch. And hopefully, you put either a voice message or a video message within your mortgage options. 
So it is a multi-sensory experience. It's powerful in the office, and it leaves the office. So taking the same things that are working so well for Zillow and Trulia and creating interactive experiences that home buyers have as mortgage professionals and as real estate professionals, you can take that same play and put mortgage options in the back pocket. So another announcement, and we're going to roll this out in Sales Mastery, is that we're putting interest rates in your back pocket now. We're rolling out both an iOS and an Android app. It's gorgeous, folks. So you're going to know what's happening today in the market. You're going to know what's happening this week in the market. And everybody at Sales Mastery, come see us. So we can show you how to go from text-only experience to a multi-sensory experience with both mortgage options and interest rates. So as we start to wrap up this call and make it actionable, I hope one thing that's become clear is that mobile and video leadership's never been more important. It's never been more important to be a confident decision in the confident decision business. It's never been more important to really get your sales process together to where it's attractive to millennials. And by the way, I believe that you know millennials is not just an age. Millennial is a mindset. You know, while I turned 50 this year, you know, I've got the age of a, I've got the mindset of a millennial. So there's a lot of people that are not within these age demographics that are using mobile devices. So it's not just age, it's attitude. 15% of realtors are delivering mobile. You need to connect with them. And for the 85% that aren't, you have an opportunity to connect with them. Hopefully that's abundantly clear. Hopefully it's abundantly clear that this, you know, old school pre-meltdown fee worksheet should be gone. Um, as we think of millennials, they do not look at home ownership the same way that we did. There's going to need to be more education around why own versus rent. So really important when it comes to selling to millennials that you need to be prepared to make the case for home ownership. It's one of the reasons why I love my, my partnership with Steve Harney. He's a tremendous educator helping people make informed decisions around why buy now, whether or not it's a move up or whether it's a first time buyer. No one does it better than Steve Party and his team. And when it comes to making it personal and putting it in your back pocket, no one better than us to do that. So between the two of us, we deliver massive value. If you're on this call and you're a non-Mortgage Coach member and you like to get a demo of Mortgage Coach, fill out the survey that I just pushed. Let us know if you would like to get some more information on Mortgage Coach. We want to drive as much value as we can to you. Um, Steve, while I'm getting this filled out, I've got just a couple last insights. But anything you want to add to the conversation? Uh, no, I think you did a great job. And, and the only thing I can say is this will help your realtor partners really help their clients. And the best real estate agents, there's a couple of exceptions, crazy people, but the, the vast majority of the best agents Really, the way they became that way is they really cared about their clients. And this is helping them help their clients. They'll love this if you introduce it to them. And, and, and you know, both from the sides of what I discussed and even more importantly from the sides that David discussed, because you're really bringing it to their buyer right now, that tax-savvy tax savvy buyer. Yeah, so, so whether or not you, know, you sign up and become part of the Mortgage Coach team, the way we design our demos is it's an educational experience that will drive value. So I hope you opt in, you go through a Mortgage Coach demo, make an informed choice about Mortgage Coach. I am going to wrap it up with some reminders and some key insights. I mean, scientists have proven that going from pictures instead of just words is more likely to be remembered. These are slides from the Talk Like Ted book. I mean, there's a lot of evidence around what you just read in words and when you blow it up in pictures, the retention rates, the wow factor, the win the business factor, the generate a lead factor, to go from someone walks through an open house and walks out versus walks into an open house and sparks a conversation, what Steve has taught you and his insights and what we're teaching you can, will win you more business. It will drive more valuable conversations. So anybody that's on this call that's coming to Sales Mastery, Please, I'll be wearing a black shirt with my team. We'll be driving mobile experiences, both you know, with our new RateWatch app and with our Edge app. Come up, see me, say hi. Make sure you come up, say hi to Steve. Do not miss his session. This call is being recorded. It will be posted within the hour. 
along with all of our coaching calls, you know, if you align with our values that around wow, surpassing expectations, making complex concepts simple, and by the way, just excellence, being the best at what you do. Steve, I think our organizations align well because we're very quality driven. Uh, now again, we have a different approach, you know, this total cost transparency, total cost education, you know, we, we have a different way that we deliver value, but at the end of the day, we, we both share a lot of values, and we both drive a lot of confident decisions. So it's always an honor, my friend, to have you on a coaching call together. It's always an honor to teach together, and really, I should add your logo to this last thing, you know, confident decisions powered by our two organizations. It's just a pleasure making impact in the market for everybody. So Steve, any last words as we wrap up today's call? All I can say is thank you very much, David, and you know, ladies and gentlemen, on this call, you know, just do what you do. You know, the the, the agents need it, the consumer needs it, and we can get into a really craziness and say the country needs it. You know, we have to. You know, the housing market is coming back slowly. We have to quicken the pace of that. And uh, the best people in the mortgage side, and the best people on the real estate side, are best equipped to get that done. So just get out there and get. Let's get it done. Make sure everybody on this call reads Steve Harney's blog, connect with him on Facebook, go to his website, you know, Bridge Builders. You know, he is a tremendous value to our industry. Grateful to have you. Take care, everybody, and have a fantastic week. Bye, guys.